since then we were called at around six yeah we had a patient who was involved in a traffic accident it was hit and run so uh this uh patient like uh, he 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 had um severe head injury mm -hmm. Hello guys, it's a girl patient status. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscription box and put on the notification bell so that you're not time we post a new video. Mm -hmm. So guys, today I have a visitor. Mm -hmm. She's an amazing lady. Yes, and I'll be asking her some few questions. So we are welcoming her to our channel. So mm -hmm. drum roll. Hello. Thank you. I'm giving you time to introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Yeah. So hi guys. My name is Jan Wanjiku, and yeah, I'm Peshi's friend. So <laughs> she's our guest for today. <laughs> yeah. And we'll be asking just some few and simple questions. So at first, I want you to tell us who you are. Who is Joanne? Where did you grow up? How did you grow up? Yeah. yeah. I uh, so I uh, Joan Wanjiku is my two names. Yeah, so I was born and bred in Nairobi. Yeah, uh, born in Pumwani, <laughs> raised yeah in Dandora. Yeah, I'm a girl girl again. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who are you? <laughs> oh my god. Wow! Happen. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah, so I uh, raised, uh, then I went to primary school in Dandora. Uh, then uh, high school, I moved to Moranga. High sc um, a school in Moranga, Kangema constituency. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, then for a college campus, I came back to Nairobi after doing my KCSE. Came back to Nairobi. Yeah, so I came to Nairobi. So did you study? Uh, so I did uh, emergency medicine. Wait a minute. Who are you? Medical technician. Our first uh, basic uh, computer. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> we all passed through that. Yeah. I, uh, then I went to St. John Ambulance. I did uh, emergency medical technician. Yeah. So tell us what you maybe you're doing currently. Do you do maybe what you studied in campus? Because mostly <laughs> nowadays you find for the youth when they are done with campus, they do something totally different. Yeah. So tell us for you, for your case, is it the same or you're still pursuing the same uh, line of your course? Uh, okay, so uh, for me, um, I for like two years, I I started doing the emergency medical technician. Uh, then... Uh, it's like backsliding. <laughs> yeah, so then I left, I started doing something different, administration, so uh, yeah, doing uh, customer service, uh, that is what I'm currently doing. Yeah. And what does uh, maybe the emergency technician you call him? Yeah. Can tell us what does he do because I'm a miss you, you have no idea. <laughs> You can really tell us. Yeah, so uh, emergency medical technician, mm -hmm. just by the name, like it's a medic. So mostly it's like just a course like nursing. Mm -hmm. But for us, we deal with like it's emergency by the name emergency. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are the first responders. We are the first people that uh, will be in contact with the mm -hmm. patient yeah, yeah. or uh, the casualty so you'll find us in ambulances or at the emergency and accident departments uh, units in hospitals so what yeah. are some of the challenges that you face in your line of field yeah so are uh, the uh, challenges of course <laughs> that we face are uh, like uh, for example you might find like uh, dealing with a baby, may, let's say it's um, premature baby. De dealing with a baby, yeah. it's it's different uh, from dealing with an adult. Uh, it's a premature baby or it's mm -hmm. a baby who is uh, critically ill. Yeah. So uh, it's challenging. So tell us, what's that worst case that you maybe experience and you are like, hey, this field, it needs someone who is maybe tough or you felt maybe it affected you after yeah mm. yeah. yeah so there is this uh incident where we were called 
yeah so i was working in an ambulance then we were called at around six yeah we had a patient who was enrolled in a traffic accident it was hit and run hit and run is where like you are involved in a motor vehicle and a motorcycle uh, then motor vehicle hit a motorcycle then motor vehicle <laughs> 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 yeah, fully. <laughs> yeah. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. Yes. Yeah, so uh, these are patients. Like uh, he, he, he had um, severe head injury. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now uh, the thing was like he didn't have any other, like any other um, Injury. injuries from the hands or the feet. It was mm -hmm. only the the like the head yeah and it was very severe so hey, it was traumatizing because uh, seeing the structure like how it was hey I don't want to try to go in depth because hey it wasn't nice so uh yeah but it wasn't my first uh scenario mm -hmm. having a, a patient who was involved in an accident even having a severe head injury but this particular one was very traumatizing to me I don't know why maybe it was because like maybe i've carried like in my let's say a baggage or i don't know or so many other yeah traumatic issues incidences so uh we took him to hospital then that was it i didn't know that it uh would affect me in any way mm -hmm. so uh that time uh that uh night then i i i came from work then went to home uh, so when going home i took a motorbike yeah because where we live like it's far mm -hmm. stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so and catch a motorbike so on my on the way i don't know i don't know if it's trauma because to be honest like that nini your rider like he was shocked because i'm telling you like nearly scream he like what wow. mm. yeah so Hey, it was trauma that point it's where like after <coughs> that's when like i i started realizing like because i was so afraid of getting into a motorcycle yeah so eh, so that that's when i realized like i was traumatic that it had affected and maybe yeah. do such cases uh, make you reconsider maybe you could have done another field yeah. or yeah thinking maybe in future you wanna diverge from what you do yeah uh so no i've never regretted doing uh, the course because ah uh, it's interesting like medicine it's very interesting learning to know how your body works yeah. like you have completely in control of your body mm -hmm. yani you can't even the mind like right now when i'm talking i don't know like how i'm talking as in it's just the mind yeah. you see so it's very interesting exciting yeah even getting to like learn how to deal with uh patients how yeah. to yeah it's very interesting mm -hmm. yeah but uh, the trauma part uh, that's uh what uh, made me like first to pause it because yeah i want i felt like well, let me just heal first mm -hmm. yeah maybe even considering to go going back uh, there so maybe yeah. after school did you begin uh, working immediately uh, or maybe you took some time yeah did you struggle getting a job like you know the country you're in right now yeah so it's hard to get a job so tell us for your case how was it yeah so uh for my case i think it wasn't that hard cause uh but i've done promos i know so many of us like ladies yeah. you when you finish high school mm -hmm. your first thing let's say lab days or computer next yeah. thing is promos mm -hmm. for men is on jango so it was just the same as uh to me because uh when i finished high school yeah i went to computer college then i started doing like promos where we used to work for a uh, safaricom the promos mm -hmm. doing promos mm -hmm. so i started earning when i was <laughs> yeah i was young because i would say like we were paid well at that time mm -hmm. doing those promos because i remember we, are, we used to be given 
um, lunch and also bus fare then your salary is your salary alafu we, uh, they used to give us after 10 days mm -hmm. so you find that uh, that salary you haven't even touched it like it's yeah it's yeah it's intact mm -hmm. so yeah so then after now they promote then that uh, that's when i joined uh, yeah uh, St. John Ambulance. Then after school, uh, doing attachment, I was also placed in a certain hospital, mm -hmm. yeah, critical care hospital. Yeah, it's opposite Pumwani. So uh, that is where, like, I, it molded me, it built, uh, I was built from there because uh, they used to give me, like, something. It's not, like, uh, paying me, but at least because I'm learning then you see like it's like attachment in that ambulance but they used to give me something mm -hmm. so yeah so missing a lack like pocket money which guys oh my god wow so, yeah and then from there when i uh i finished like the attachment i got a job uh yeah like i started and you see the good thing with medical like any course related with medicine like any course even the patient care uh, nini, attendant mm -hmm. uh, the one that we do like taking care of the sick yeah, yeah or the elderly mm -hmm. like the market already like at a what no hakuna personnel no hakuna so that's yeah. the course it yeah like yeah it's a course no <laughs> it's a course mm -hmm. it's a very important course you see the i was telling people like uh, even in my channel like you see uh lack of knowledge uh, like ignorance is bliss when you call like an emt or a patient attendant a first aider it's not right at a see we feel so bad because we go through class we yes. get a license we yes. get certified imagine you are not first aiders because you, like for you, you can be a first aider. Mm -hmm. You don't need a TCG, any qualifications, nothing. Even <laughs> speaking your mother tongue. Mm -hmm. You don't even need to know English or yeah. Swahili. Just, yani, you don't have to, to have any qualifications. Yeah, but for us, even patient care attendants, you have to be licensed, not even just certified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, that was that was information. So yeah. tell us, okay, now you're done with your, you, you've gotten to work. Yeah. Tell us your life after dating, getting yeah. married. <laughs> is it? Wait. Good talk, eh. I'm telling you, this video will be. <laughs> it's will be long. So, mm -hmm. yeah, eh, uh, for me, I'll say, yeah, it's a two dating, zile zenye. You start dating when you are young, let's say it's adolescence. Yeah, so it also happened to me because I'm human still. Yeah. yeah, so, but the serious ones, I would say after high school, let's say when I was uh, there in college, mm -hmm. and then where character development, where Marakaza. <laughs> you get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> eh, hey, but at least I've get, I've gotten a chance to learn like how men are. So right now I think it's not that easy. I would say I wouldn't say it's easy, but at least I have gotten to learn like mm -hmm. uh, this is how you get to approach or yeah, yeah this is how they approach you. This is how to, to deal with a man. At least I get to learn. Hey, ukiona mtu run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run! Yeah, so I'll say it's nice. Yeah. So, okay, for those who may be for us who have not got into marriage, yeah. would you tell us? Because you know, there is this story outside those who are not married, they mm -hmm. are they are eager to get into marriage, yeah. and those who are married, they are eager to they want to <laughs> go back to being single. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Is this scenario true or uh, yeah. just a myth? Yeah, for me, I'll say I think um, it matters with uh, the one you have. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, because hey, because there are instances where you'll be with no, yani, you won't be with the right person, yeah. then you'll feel like you want to leave. And yeah. when you start feeling like that, it means I don't think that it will work. Because yeah. already your mind, you've set it like. I just want to leave. Mm -hmm. But 
having the right person getting to learn each other knowing that no one is perfect yeah because yeah. for me like you see when i was growing up i would love to have like a man who has as in tall yeah he's a tall that can <laughs> have some <laughs> yeah wow lakini saa zingine iko ile yenye iko zenye ni must you want uh, this character yeah. yeah of a person but iko zile zenye it's not really a must you can yeah. just yeah it's not a must a must mm -hmm. like let's say dark yeah yeah he can be tall like for me i love tall <laughs> but mm -hmm. he cannot be as in maybe see dark maybe yeah. you see mm -hmm. i can at least yeah but sasa, there is those uh, characters where like maybe they make you feel less of a woman or of a person i is is a sipo then as i said like when you start feeling that like you just want to leave you just leave because it won't work and about maybe those who are in abusive marriages yeah and they always say toxic is hard to leave yeah because there is this scenario of um this um celebrity i don't even know him kimba man mm. he posted just the other day he was assaulted by the girlfriend mm. and yet he came out and said it's not the first time that he has been assaulted it has been several but he kept going back yeah so there is these people who are in maybe toxic marriages mm. but they find it hard to you know to yeah live. yeah that is true just even the relationship even us like before you break break up uh, with someone like yeah. you'll have gone back yani una entertain to mm. before yeah leaving so it's hard because this is a person maybe you've not just known for a week yeah, you've yeah. stayed maybe even together maybe even you have kids mm. so it's not easy it's not something that you'll say like just pack and go yeah, yeah so you'll find yourself like going back going back but imagine sometimes you'll just go back for nothing even you'll make it or you'll make the situation worse yeah. by going back so you'll just say like men are like wako wengi even ladies tuko wengi watu like there are single men now there there are single ladies out there who are genuinely seeking for a good partner so i'll say like yani don't get don't be too harsh on yourself saying like it it must work it must work and yeah. it's not working yani be realistic see like ah hey, this one is not for cuz i'm not just saying cuz i haven't experienced it i have I've been in a relationship where like your story are cheating 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 and and also like it's me who is supporting the uh, the person like hata unashangaa ni kama hiyo ya abusive like a girl an abuse an abuse a man unaweza fikiria ah is it possible like but it's possible but sasa you see like me for two every day every day you get to see like i i can't i can't every day you get like una try try and focus like yeah. what we lie as in what we lie lose by living mm -hmm. and what we lie gain kiona against ni mob yani tafuta tu nini yani gather your strength every day gather your strength being mostly like for the ladies they fear because maybe they don't have money yeah so they are afraid of giving them money and then beginning scratch again. yeah but imagine your life is better Ima, eh, then let me tell you mm -hmm. your money una one day mm -hmm. you'll have to live yeah like at a when in 10 years yes. itafika to point like utakuwa umechoka so mm -hmm. isifike your point saying hata ime ku drain yeah. ama you are, you are you don't even have anything you yani, feeling less yeah yourself, mm -hmm. eh miaka zimesonga mtu ungepata mm -hmm. sahii hata uwezi pata alishawa <laughs> Eh basa hiyo ungepatana naye. So unajua tu kikuwa hapo. The earlier the better. Yeah, the earlier the better. The earlier the better. But sometimes it's complicated kwanza kwanza senye iko kids involved. Yeah. Yeah. But imagine you can do it. You can. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go to now it. to your YouTube channel. When yeah. did you maybe decide to begin your YouTube or what inspired you? Yeah. So uh for me I remember before posting like I went back because we are being told like as long as you have an account as long as you can view youtube yeah. you have a channel already mm -hmm. so i remember when going before posting my videos i saw that i joined youtube in 2017 mm -hmm. where so i was like hi what was i doing all that time like i 
but I, I wanted like i could see like you youtubers you see for me even when i was in high school i used to be in drama festivals and music festivals and we used to do good like you see even like vile unaonanga like mtu ame achieve unaona ni kama ama let's let's say someone has gone viral imagine ikwangi meanzia saa hiyo yeah ikwangi meanzia saa hiyo ni kutoka kitambu so yeah Nivo to ile passion ya from when you are a kid maybe you started like singing in the mirror <laughs> yeah you see you dance uh, is it yeah singing in the shower dancing in the mirror evil hizo so yeah inanzanga kwanza hivyo kitambo then inaanza ku grow hivyo pole pole it was yeah so so far how has been the journey how long have you since you know you started doing yeah content? yeah i'll say like one and a half months and it has been great but yeah hard work mimi honestly it's hard work yeah it yeah. really was a lot of video yeah me from when i was beginning i even never used to post so much mm. i think around two videos a week yeah but it really needs uh, motivation because we yeah it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy <laughs> maybe that time you felt like giving up Though you've not been there for long, yeah. maybe there is that type of like hey. maybe being reluctant mm-hmm. uh, but not really giving up but maybe being reluctant mm-hmm. but even sometimes you just go back you're like maybe expecting that so this certain video yeah. like a uh, video I did for Masai Mara I yeah, was like so I, I I thought that it will have oh, uh, yeah. yeah but yani hiyo hata ndio it has uh, views kidogo <laughs> So, yani yeah, expectations the converse versa of what the reality is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, hakuna kukuwa heartbroken. Unajaribu all the way. Yeah. Maybe you can tell Maybe those are beginning their YouTube yeah. or they are thinking of beginning. Mm-hmm. What can you tell them? Just start. Wow. But, mimi I will just say that cause there is not perf- there is no perfect time that you will say acha ningoje nipate hii acha ningoje nipate unayo acha nyuko nayo anza na hiyo hakuna kitu unaweza ambiwa ati sijio jifanya hivi ama just that yeah. and hizo zingine you will figure out on the way yeah yeah so these are some of the few questions i had for you for today yeah we <laughs> get more questions uh, along the way mm. so you you'll be seeing our most Uh, most times on my channel and you're most welcome thank you It's a pleasure to yeah. have you mm. yeah so she has a youtube channel that we told me jina kwa <laughs> no. the same the yeah same? it's the same name though now it's joan shiko yeah so yeah. please i'll put the link still down in the description box joan mm. bianga even na mwenda please if you hear that <laughs> yeah. make sure you go to the description box uh, click that link mm. go to her channel she has amazing amazing videos and yeah. you are just to me that they are amazing so make sure you subscribe you can follow on our social handles yeah joan wanjiku all the social handles tiktok Facebook at a scene to go Facebook yes. bad. <laughs> yeah, eh. yeah, yeah, Instagram, yeah, yeah. yeah. even Twitter. Yeah. So yeah. make sure you follow her. Yeah. If you have any question, uh, you can DM her yeah. as well. So that was it for today guys. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and then you can leave a comment, subscribe yeah. and put on the notification bell. Mm. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you on my next video. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>